Hey guys, it's Jem here. Welcome to the third part of my Sims 4 Cats and Dogs Let's Play. And yes, I realize it has been a while since my last Let's Play video. I've just been super insanely busy, but now I'm ready to get back into making videos and posting videos and just having fun playing The Sims. So in the last part, uh, if you guys haven't seen those last two parts, as usual, I will be linking a playlist to the whole series down below so you guys can just watch the playlist. And in the last part, basically, Liam and Mia were deciding if they wanted to stay in Brindleton Bay. Well, Mia was already all for it, but Liam was still sort of hesitant. But of course, he is staying because there would be no storyline if he wasn't staying with his sister Mia. So now that they're staying, Liam of course had to quit his job, which he's already done. Um, I guess in this time span of two weeks since we've been away, a lot has happened and Liam has quit his job. So now he is jobless, which is not like him because he is quite a hard worker. Let's see, what else has happened since we were gone? I think their aunt Penelope has been like decorating the house. Like, is that surfing Santa? <laughs> So as you can see, there has been some changes to the house. I did uh, renovate a lot of the rooms because I thought previously it just wasn't working. I didn't really like it. I'm still not totally happy with it, but I just want to show you guys um, the part that I like the most about the renovation. So I added in a bunch of Christmas decorations, or I guess holiday decorations and as you can see there's some Santa and some snowmen here and then the foyer so I did change the foyer a bit I believe it was um, darker marble colored and there weren't any of these like bay window seats here so I added that in and I added these huge nutcrackers aren't they so cute Ugh. I mean I guess in real life they would be kind of creepy like oh look at this <laughs> so I have a staring contest with him like look into my okay anyways I put it some nutcracker um, statues I mean they were like toy size but I just size them up and use them as statues and I think that's really cute and I did change that a bit and what else did I change oh and I changed the dining room as well I didn't put de Christmas decorations in all the rooms just because this house is massive and kind of like in real life, I don't want to spend time taking down Christmas decorations, which is why I don't put them up. So that's what's happening here. But I did put them up in the dining room because um, there is this Christmas Christum. There is this Christmas item for the dining table with a beautiful plaid red, what is this called again? Table runner? I believe. Is that what it's called? Anyways, it looks beautiful. It looks Christmassy. And I put up a more Christmas-like flower on the top as well. And I added in some random little... I don't even know what... Honestly, I don't know what this is at all. Like, I I think I need to watch more, like, Christmas house speed builds so I can see other people use this because I don't know how to use this at all. I tried sizing it up. It looked weird. And, of course, we have these Christmas garlands. Is that what it's called? As you can see, I don't really do much Christmas decorating. <laughs> um, and the room that changed the most is this room. If you guys have seen the last part, it was just a big empty space. I had no idea what to do with it. But I have moved the uh, the dance floors over here. And basically now this is sort of, this is, well, this is the ballroom. It's not sort of the ballroom. This is the ballroom. And again, I use the nutcrackers and I have the dining tables here. I love this dining table from the, what is it? Oh my God, guys, it's late while I'm recording this and I am tired, but oh, Christmas tree. Oh, Christmas tree. Look at this. I think this is like my favorite part of the whole room and how you can just look through these uh, super tall windows and you can see the Christmas tree through them. It just looks so nice and festive. Ugh, I think this is my favorite part. And there are presents under the tree already. I mean, they might be like those fake boxes just for show, you know? Like they're empty, but they look beautiful. I mean, I feel like with the amount of money Un Penelope has, she can afford that kind of decoration. 
And of course, we have a wreath here about the fireplace, some candles, and I don't know what these are. Like, are these sand snowmen? I'm just going to pretend they're not and that they fit in perfectly well with this decoration. I, know, I think they're probably like sand or stone snowmen. But anyways, besides this, I also quickly redid the upstairs. Um, I changed Liam's room a bit. I took out the section because the house was way too big. There was just so much empty space. So I took out this side and I made Liam's room here instead. And I rather like it. Like I feel like this is probably my favorite bedroom in the whole house. It's very simple and yet cozy. And I think this is like very his style, you know, a little more masculine tones. And then if you guys recall, we had a huge like pet training center here. And I took that out as well. I just think it just looked weird. I guess before when I was doing it, I was thinking, you know, maybe it could be like, a oh no, empty walls. Oh wait, what did I just do? Okay. Um, but maybe, like, before when I did it, I thought maybe it could be, like, a fun, quirky thing. But then later on, I was like, eh, you know what? I don't think it really suits the house. So I've taken that out. Let me just add in this wallpaper here. Oops. Oh, oh crap. I didn't get all of it. Don't you just hate it when that happens? You miss out, like, a chunk of the wall because you were, like, trying to rearrange things. Um... I think that's, that works now. So basically now this is like a study. This is on Penelope's table. And I think this looks so much better, you guys. Like, this just fits, you know? Like, look at this. And I think maybe on Penelope was thinking she would have a nice little meeting room. Or, you know, the people living in her house could come here and study. I mean, Mia is still in school. She's in high school. And Leah, maybe he could come here and look over some, I don't know, work papers. Once he gets a new job. Maybe he won't get a new job, though. I don't know. We'll see. We shall see what happens with Liam in this episode. And then I moved the home theater here as well because, of course, we took out that side um, under Liam's room. So now this is a home theater, and I really like this as well. I think it's a much more appropriate size, and I finally found a use for doing this type of corner. <laughs> I could put the karaoke machine here before. I was like, what am I going to do with this awkward corner? But it now has a purpose. And Mia's room has not changed. It's the same. On Penelope's room, I didn't like how it was just one huge space. So I have taken the liberty of making it to kind of like two rooms. So instead of just, you know, this place walking into one big room, she has sort of like... It's not a living room. Is it like a parlor? I really need to brush up on my like home and room terminology because I don't remember any of this stuff. I used to watch a bunch of those like decoration shows, but I don't as much anymore and I don't remember what these rooms are called. But basically she has like a sitting area here and then I put in a bunch of toys because of course she wants Max to be close to her and this is sort of like Max's little playroom as well. And Max is this adorable little cretin here <laughs> oh he's so cute in his little sweater and then her bedroom is here now and i think that's oh i think i also redid the washer oh and we added in a butler bedroom because last time i don't know if you guys remember the space was totally blank here the poor butler did not have a room he had to sleep goodness knows where maybe he couldn't sleep at all so he has his own little bedroom and ensuite and I took out a bit of the wall here as well to make the room smaller. So I had to downsize the washroom, but I kept this like powder room type part and then I redid the washroom here. And yeah, that's pretty much what I did. Um, I mean, what Aunt Penelope did <laughs> while we were away. She was busy renovating the house and making it more presentable. I don't think I did anything else right now. Yeah, the house is pretty much everything else is pretty much the same so in this episode i thought that we could finally check out the vet clinic and see what property uncle john invested in i know mia would be super excited but the thing is i think she has school soon she is still in high school and she's being such a good girl she's doing her homework oh. 
Doyim Oh, wait, I forgot, guys. I also changed this part as well into more like a games room. Before, there was just like a desk with uh, shelves here. But I thought, like, this is not appropriate for a study when you have like a total party room here. So now this is like a really nice, quirky games room. And I love this. I love this green color. I think it just really suits everything. Okay, so she's doing her homework. Mm -hmm. What's wrong with Zoe? I think maybe she has to use the washroom. I feel like with cats, it's always the washroom. Let's just make sure everyone is in good condition. I'm Penelope is tense. Because she hasn't flirted with anyone in a while. Ooh, you know what? Yes, let's hire a massage therapist for I'm Penelope. Because she is tense. She is loaded. She can afford a massage therapist at 8.02 in the morning. So we will wait for them. And what's wrong with these poor little... Okay, so he has to go. That's why he's not comfortable. What's wrong with uh, Zoe here? She's just standing here. Oh my goodness. They are so cute. I think these two get along pretty well. And Max doesn't really have like an animal bestie <laughs> which is kind of sad okay zoe are you okay what's wrong what's wrong girl maybe she's hungry okay let's see if our pet food okay so we're stocked up uh oh oh massage therapist is here well where, where is he Oh, he's here. Okay, um, Aunt Penelope, you hired him. You better get your money's worth. Hello. Okay, so let's get a massage and... Um, is there a special massage? No, I'm just kidding, guys. Um, let's get a stone massage just because it's more expensive. And it seems like it would be relaxing for Aunt Penelope. Liam is here having some breakfast. And he's feeling pretty good, but he doesn't have a job now, you know? Like, he quit his job and he was thinking, like, what should I do now? Now that, what should I do for money now that I don't have a job? I mean, I'm Penelope has money, but I want to make my own, you know? I don't want to just be living off her, um, living off her, I was going to say inheritance, but it's not really inheritance. I don't want to be living off her and Uncle John's money, like, all the time. Like, I am a man. I have to provide for myself and maybe my sister and our pets, you know? And Hayes is just here chilling. And oh, Max is eating uh, from the Warble. counters yeah. again. Okay, what? I thought you were getting a massage. What are you doing here? He is like just waiting. He's like, okay, somebody hired me, but they're not coming to get their massage. Yeah. On Penelope, go get your massage. Oh, and I totally forgot in the last episode, we actually, because Uncle John passed away and we went to his funeral, Aunt Penelope actually still has his uh, gravestone here. I guess his ashes turned into gravestone gravestone ashes turn gravestone here and i think we should set it somewhere in the backyard what do you guys think like i don't think un penelope is ready to let go of uncle john yet so it's very likely she would want to keep him around and the best way to do that i just put him down randomly the best way to do that would be like to keep his essence here you know like his gravestone here and yes very creepy in real life but in the sims this is what happens and our power was shut down because i was just looking at this like why is this what is wrong the renovators did not do a good job did they okay let's let's do this let's put uncle john to rest under this tree outside the bathroom <laughs> I think, do you think Uncle John needs some, like, flowers or something? I think he does. Also, I don't want them to come over and, like, get sad, you know, near his gravestone. So I'm going to try to, no, I don't like that. I'm going to try to sort of border it off um, with some 
shrubbery, shrubbery, with some trees. I don't, I don't know what I'm doing right now. I don't like this at all, but I think I'm just gonna try to like make a little, like just section it off. You know? I don't know. Oh my god, this does not look good. This does not look good. I'm sorry, Uncle John. I don't know what I'm doing right now, but I'm just adding a crap load of flowers near your grave. Huh. Okay, Uncle John. We Actually, you know what? These hydrangeas don't look that bad. Hydrangeas always look good. Have you guys realized? Like, even in real life, they just look amazing when they put them in, like, malls and stuff. But actually, you know what? Hydrangeas are not bad. Hydrangeas have sort of semi-saved my crappy landscaping. So... Um... Yeah. That, oh my goodness, what was I just doing? <laughs> Oh, Sims, learning new things every day. I don't- I'm not too familiar with the, um, the keyboard hotkeys yet, so sometimes I do things I'm just like, what? Even though, fun fact, I have been playing for, like, almost two years now. I guess um, a year and a half, The Sims 4, and I never played any of the other Sims versions before, but I got hooked onto this game when I saw a really famous gaming YouTuber play it, and I was like, oh my gosh. I really want to try that game, and here I am, um, a year and a half later. <laughs> Still not quite that good at Sims, but you know what? It's fun. It's a fun, fun game. Learning new things every day. So, okay, I think this is good enough for Uncle John. Should we put some grass around it? You know, just to make it look like... Ooh, does that look weird? I mean... Okay, let's just do... I'm just... <laughs> Like, if you're gonna commit to grass, oh no no no, that's too much. If you're gonna commit to grass, you should probably put it all around. Oh well. Okay, so here lies Uncle John. Should we write something on his gravestone? Wish you were here. Oh, I always forget it says that. Sim, Sim's humor. Um. Here lies Uncle John, who woohoo to death. Which he actually did. That's actually how he died. How do you spell woohooed? Is it like apostrophe, ED? Who woohooed to death. We literally, well, Unpenelope literally loved him to death. Here lies Uncle John who woohooed to death. May you rest in flirtatious peace. Um, okay. Here lies Uncle John who woohoo to death. May you rest in flirtatious peace. <laughs> Can you imagine if that was written on your gravestone? You'd be like, what the heck? Oh, Maxi, did see Maxi want a, a massage as well? We have not paid our bills, so they've shut down all the power, which we should pay it to get it back up. I don't know why Liam is doing this. Unpenelope should, but he's just here, conveniently here. Oh. Aunt Penelope, you're flirty. <laughs> you did, did she even get the massage? Like, let me let me just I wanna see her get the massage. Then I'll be happy that okay. she actually got the massage. I keep clicking away when she's about to, and I don't think she's ever actually gotten it yet. And she's still in her coral col club. My goodness. She's still in her coral colored bathrobe which I think she needs to change out of at some point but just to add to the storyline I think she's still grieving over Uncle John's death and she just doesn't feel like herself but ob obviously like the type of character she is she needs more can we pay our bills please she needs more outfits like it's just not just doesn't look like doesn't seem to match her character that she only has you know the same old ratty bathrobe to wear every single episode okay guys so i am kind of just killing time until mia comes back from school because i want her to come to the clinic with us to check things out and it's only 11 30 so there's still three more sim hours until she gets back three more hours yeah, three and a half hours. Oh, and we fired the old butler. Literally, the... Well, he wasn't old. He was older, but he wasn't old. Um, we fired our previous butler, 
and we have hired this new younger butler and his name is Dustin Dustin be Dustin you know <laughs> and he well the reason we fired our old butler is because I think he was stealing stuff from us like I really oh my gosh we just give it a rest boy I think he was stealing stuff from us I don't know this butler we did a more thorough background check and I think he's more honest you know he's a foodie and he has some other traits that are not malicious and harmful to the um, up what's that called the upkeeping of our property so I think he's a good butler so far and he cleans stuff like there was a mess he cleaned it our last butler did not clean anything what is everybody up to okay I think we should do some pet care um, I just want to make sure that the bowls downstairs are full. I don't know why they keep disappearing. Like, it really annoys me. I I think the pets are whisking them away, but I can't find them afterwards. So, it's, it's really annoying. Like, I don't... Like, it's bothering me. But let's just fill it and... Maybe we'll just fill all the pet bowls. Oh, we got a maid as well. So that's what he is doing there. Okay, so I fast forwarded a bit to 3 o'clock or past 3 o'clock because I really want to take Mia with us to the vet clinic. Let's see what shape she's in. Okay, she's a bit tired, so we should definitely go quickly before she, you know, totally fades away like I am right now because it's late while I'm recording this. So let me see, and Penelope, why don't we make it a trip and let's go and see the, oh, wait, I'm with Liam. Okay, so Liam will take us instead. Liam knows where it is. Well, and Penelope is going to tell him where it is and we are going to check out the vet clinic that Uncle John purchased. And I think we can leave the pets for now. We don't have to take them with us. It's just going to be the three of us, some good old family bonding time so here we are guys at the lot where the vet clinic is located and are you guys ready and Penelope's like are you guys ready to see the clinic are you guys ready to see the clinic it is right wait what well okay is that it how much did Uncle John spend on this property like it looks like a small little cottage <laughs> so this is actually the property that uncle john purchased and yes i did build this and yes i will be putting it up in the sims gallery for download but this is the vet clinic the background behind this vet clinic is that it's you know it's like it was family owned and I guess Uncle John really liked this piece of property next to the ocean or the sea or whatever this large body of water is. And he decided to purchase it. So if we take a really quick tour, we have the front door here. And then as you can see, it's quite small. I mean, we have a really small receptionist desk. Maybe this was for like the olden days, but now we have this cool like new age check-in system where um, where patients or patient owners can just check in from this little station here. And then there's a little waiting area. And then after that, when you go in, there's only one checkup table and it is all kind of like beat up, duct taped together with a little old counter and you know the space is quite small like small small little office we still have some old filing cabinet systems for all the patient folders and then the back here we have a stock room where it's not very clean all these items are piled together you know the shelves don't match and then when we come out here there's like a picnic table i guess where employees can enjoy some food and there is an upstairs to this place which is sort of more like the employees lounge so we have like it's employees lounge but it's like really homey you know i mean everything kind of looks like it could have been brought from someone's house 
we have a really cozy little kitchen here combined with the dining room and a small little area to watch TV. And we have our own washroom at least upstairs, which is always a plus. So here's a washroom and then here are some beds for the employees to sleep in if they get tired and, you know, they can't make it home. So Mia's like, you know what? I don't care. Like, even if this is such a small place, I am ready to help people. I'm ready to help pets get better. She's thinking this as she's sitting on the toilet. <laughs> and she doesn't really mind. She just, she's like, okay, Aunt Penelope, when are we going to start accepting patients? I can't wait to start. You know, I want to start, like, right now. I want to help people and animals oh, right now. Aunt Penelope's like, hold your horses. You just got here. Like... It's a small place, but and there's not much to look at, but you just got here. Give it a break. Like, just take it in first. Make a plan. The thing is, Liam is actually probably the one who's more of the planning type. I think he is now thinking, why did Uncle John buy such a small space? Like, this is so... Like, he has so much money, he could have bought any vet clinic he wanted to. Instead, he chose this tiny little cottagey looking place to invest in. I mean, this is good real estate. This is really good real estate. But, you know, just it just seems like it's a little bit odd why Uncle John would have purchased this. But I think as Liam thinks about it more, he realizes that, you know what? I could totally make this work. I could totally make something of this clinic and maybe, you know, maybe we could expand. Maybe we could really make some money out of this and there is still a lot of room for expansion. So that may be in the future. You know, maybe Liam has some really uh -huh. good business ideas. He does have a business oh. background after all. And I think he's going to ask Aunt Penelope for a set amount of money. And he's going to take that money and invest it into the Supreme? clinic. But anyways, guys, I'm going to leave this part right here because I think I've been recording for long enough. And I'm super tired. I know it's taking a while for me to set up this Let's Play, but I just want to focus more on the storyline. I know other people may have recorded like 10, 20, 50 parts of Cats and Dogs Let's Play already. But, you know, I really want the storyline to make sense. I want the storyline <laughs> to build up. And I promise you guys, next part, there will be more exciting developments to the storyline. I have a whole, like, oh. I have a whole bunch of ideas oh, in my mind. Poor, so, guys, if you enjoy this video, please give it a like. Please subscribe oh. to my channel. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.